up guys, Dawson Weedrick, nerdy in many ways, and I realize it's been a long time since I've done an art tutorial video. In fact, I'm pretty sure the last one I did was my Greek style sculptures with air dry clay, and so I think one is long overdue. So today is basically going to be a drawing tutorial for you guys, and not only that, it's going to be a comic book character style type of drawing. So to do this, I'm going to be using a reference figure. In this case, it's a color lillage. Uh, reference figure that I got off of Amazon for only 17 bucks. These are very helpful. They come with a lot of great accessories such as swords, laptops, hands, phones, and all that great stuff. And just helps you get that basic structure. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a picture of it right here. And that's how it's gonna look. That's basically what we're gonna look for and trace around for the basic structure of a person. And then we're gonna go into an app called Procreate. Now this isn't a free app, but it's definitely worth the money. It's probably the best drawing app out there especially for Apple products you can get on the App Store. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna import that picture we just took of the reference figure just then. And it's gonna be in one of the layers that we're gonna work on. Now you're gonna wanna put a layer above it because we're going to trace around it and then color underneath that tracing and that outline. And it's it's just really helpful. This format of doing this is how I've been drawing, especially for my comic books recently. It's very simple, very easy to do. And you also can brighten up the image in the background that way you can see your stroke marks that much easier when you're tracing it and so again we're just going to trace around it get the basic form of the figure and you don't have to do it exactly i mean you don't have to get all the lines and joints in the figure i mean you want to make it look as human as possible so just get the basic idea so right now i'm just doing the legs right now and then the other side here come down the left leg and the heel and again, you're just getting the basic shape. And again, a lot of people can do a body figure from their mind. I mean, I can do that as well, but it makes it so much faster and so much easier when you have a reference figure like this. You can tilt it, you can zoom in on this app as well. It's very helpful. You can get into little spaces and get those details that often are missed. And again, it's just very easy. Now, what I've done here is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a comic book version of myself holding this gun and so it's gonna be uh, very dramatic looking it's in a dramatic pose as you can see and also you can see underneath the arm on the left side of the screen you can see that I added a little bit more muscle underneath there just to make it look a little bit more realistic and make it look more like a person rather than a figure now we'll finally get to the other arm here get around the fingers that's also a really helpful thing is having a reference for hands because believe it or not, hands are extremely difficult to draw. I had the hardest time with them for a long time. And so having a reference figure like this takes a lot of the pressure off of me as the artist to get the hands right. And it just, again, just makes the job that much easier. Trace around the gun here. And then with the gun, we should be done with the basic outline of the figure. And so here in a little bit, we're going to get rid of the layer that has the picture in the background and we're just going to simply work with the outline that we have created here just get these collarbones in here real quick and just like i said here's now the official outline of the character that we're going to work with now i'm going to make some tweaks to make it look a little bit more my like myself as far as the face is concerned i'm going to add the eyebrows here i'm going to add the eyes it's not going to look just like me because it's kind of comic book style so it's going to be cartoonish but you'll get the gist at the mouth right here. Mouths are also a little bit difficult too, depending on the person. But I mean, if, if you're drawing yourself, you know how your mouth works to a certain extent. You know how your mouth looks. So it shouldn't be that difficult. Add the neck part in a little bit here. We're gonna add a little bit of hair. Get rid of the outline of the head where it's underneath the hair. Get a little bit of neck hairline there. Get a couple strands in there. Nothing too crazy. You don't want to go too detailed with the hair because then it just looks like a crap ton of lines and it just doesn't look good. So just get a couple. And then you should be in business. And then darken the outside a little bit. Now I'm going to add some clothes to this. I'm just going to have them have the clothes that I'm wearing right now. I'm just going to give them a t shirt, some khaki shorts. Um, yeah, it's not going to be too complicated. Now, you kind of have to understand how clothes kind of move a little bit, I guess. Just kind of get the the fabric folding, and that makes it look a little more realistic. Now, after this, we're going to have to erase a little bit of the inside. Now, you might be wondering, isn't that kind of a waste of time to draw it anyway? 
Well, no, it doesn't because it gives you a good idea as to where the clothes are going to settle on the person's body. And so, yeah, I'm going to erase some of the lines here. Of course, the outline of the midsection. Some of the lines for the muscles. Just to make it look like it's not like a, a tight Under Armour shirt. An like actual t-shirt that just simply lays on you. All right, now we're going to add the khaki shorts here. I'm going to the same thing. Know where you're where your clothes kind of fold when you're wearing them. Give yourself some pockets, the zipper area, everything. Side pocket here. Again, erase the parts of the legs that you wouldn't see if you're wearing pants. Now again, this is the outline portion of what we're doing. In a little bit, we're gonna start coloring it a little bit. And when you color stuff in this style, at least in the comic book style, I've definitely fallen in the trap of you know getting overly detailed with the shading, trying to do too much. But that's definitely something you're not gonna to want to do in this style. I'm gonna add the socks and shoes here just to finish off the outline a little bit. I'm actually gonna add my glasses here. Why not? Give me some good nerdy glasses. I think they look kind of like mine. I don't have to be perfect again. It's comic book style. Doesn't have to be incredibly accurate. Fill that in there. All right, now we're going to add the logo that's on my shirt. It's just the classic Batman TV show logo. So just to get a little bat logo here, we're not going to get too detailed with this logo again, just because this is a tutorial. Make the head a little taller because that's what it's like in the logo. Add the little face area. And then, like I said, we're going to add another layer underneath the sketching so you can just color without worrying about going over top of the lines. So we'll start with a shirt color, which is basically like a, a dark navy-ish blue. Do that real quick. And don't worry about going over the logo. I know it's going to be a different color, but you can just add another layer in between the sketching lines and your shirt color. Which is really a nice thing about this Procreate app is you can have as many, almost up to about 150 layers if you really wanted to. If you really wanted to get that detailed and you wanted to make life that easy on yourself. It's incredibly helpful, and I mean, when I'm coloring my comic books, it's the best thing in the world to have that because it takes a lot of stress off of coloring. And you know what? You can just forget everything you learned in kindergarten about coloring within the lines. You know, it just kind of works out for you at the end. And even if you go over the line, you can just simply go back to that layer and do a little bit of touch up with eraser and everything. So we'll finish up the shirt, and after this, we'll go to coloring the khaki shorts and we'll just have a kind of like a a matte goldish kind of color yeah that kind of works and now again we are going to shade this here in a little bit but we're just going to wait till everything gets colored in so you'll see all the different tones that i'm going to use I did a little bit of editing there. You see I did a little bit of racing. Now we're going to do the skin tone. Just a basic peach skin uh, skin tone, basically. And what's really nice is if you have a hard time replicating a certain color in this app, you simply hold down on the color that you want that you've already drawn with, with your finger. And it'll instantly make your pen or, or marker, or whatever uh, kind of sketch that you're using or whatever thing you're using in your settings you can replicate that color without any problem instead of trying to find the exact tone later on which can be really annoying when i found out that setting i basically just shouted hallelujah because that is one of the most frustrating things when using a lot of other coloring apps or drawing apps i'm gonna finish the face here try to avoid the eyes a little bit and you can color a little bit underneath where the hair is supposed to go because you're going to go over with the hair anyway. And plus you have a little bit of skin tone underneath where the hair is. It just, it just blends better. It looks better. It looks more natural. See, I'm going over top of where I just colored with the skin with the hair. And it actually looks like the skin meets the hair in a natural way. I'm just going to do a dark brown color here for my hair, which is pretty accurate. 
We're gonna add a couple bit more lines into the hair. Again, we're not gonna go too crazy. Just so you can tell it is actually hair, not just a clump of brown on my head. Do the eyebrows here. And then we're gonna do the eye, eye color here. Mine are basically just green, so I'm just gonna do that. finish it off with coloring on the legs I forgot to do that when I was doing the skin tone earlier do the socks I usually wear gray socks why don't we do that keeping it simple and it's in that layer underneath the skin so I have to worry about coloring over the skin tone do the shoes I have black shoes so I might as well just make them a really really dark gray so when you sh uh, do some shadowing on them it's not indistinguishable and now I'll finish off by coloring in the gun now let's make it a, a lighter gray again keeping these simple for this tutorial video now I'm gonna go back to the shirt I'm just gonna add the things in the logo on the shirt basically the words or the letters that make up the word Batman uh, color in the bat logo with a, like a lighter, I guess a, maybe a mid gray. We're not going to worry too much about the letters and the font and everything because it's so small. Color in the face, the eyes. Again, we're going to do a little bit of a gray behind the words Batman. Or behind the word Batman, that's not multiple words. Now that's done. After this, we're going to, again, finally we're going to start doing some shading here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, what we do, is, like I told you before, how you replicate a color. You hold down and it gives you that color and you just make it darker. And that's how you get a good shade. See right here, we're going to get some good shading here on the shirt. That's going to look really nice. Get a little bit under the armpit there and then down the side of the body. So that it forms the actual shape of the body. That's why you don't have to worry about too much about the lines in a shirt. It's because the shading is going to do most of the talking for you. Pull up the seam right there. Underneath the other armpit. That should be good. Alright, now we're going to do start some shading on the skin. Again, same concept, hold down the color, then make it a darker version of that color. And we're going to have the light coming in from the right side, so that's why all the dark parts are on the left. Get underneath the neck here. Shading on the neck is really important in order to make sure that your head actually looks like it's three-dimensional. Get underneath the arm here. In the hand. Oh, we have a little mark from the blue shirt on there to get rid of that and getting shading in between the fingers is really important too gives it a lot more of a realistic look and we're going to start with the other arm and the hand basically cover all the fingers and that shading with the gun more shading definition for the bicep there into the legs So basically just do that with everything else we do that with the khakis as well but this is what I'll end up with and we'll compare it to the original picture of the figure that I had see it's the exact same figure but with that reference it gives you that much more to work with and so that's it for my tutorial for you guys today again thank you so much for tuning in like and subscribe for more content like this in the future and with that you guys have a good one